Y'all seen him? I tell you what, I, I saw him on Friday night. I don't know if y'all saw that debate. Hey, I saw hey, I saw that wolf and, and, and he got angry. He got angry, but I said, because of the grace of God, I've been washed in the blood. And he didn't know that. I don't think he understand that. Because I said, what I saw is I saw they trying to separate my family. And all you and my family because of the color of your skin. They're trying to separate my family because all they start talking about is white and black. And I said, guys, they don't realize 23 and me has screwed us all up, hasn't it? Don't matter about the color of our skin, but it matter about the content of your character. And he lives, he's preaching in that church. And he even got upset with me when they started talking about him evicting people. He brought on this Matthew 25. And I said, sir, if you read that a little bit more, Matthew 25, don't talk about you evicting people from your from that apartment building. Matthew 25 talks about when I was hungry, you fed me. When I didn't have no clothes, you clothed me. He didn't talk about you kicking people out of an apartment for 20 something dollars while you get rich. And he didn't like that. And then he started talking about all this. This is Dr. King. You messing up Dr. King's name. I said, Dr. King got nothing to do with this. Amen. This is on you, sir. Amen. This is you on you, sir. So no witness. You got to be a false prophet here now. And I think y'all know that. Yeah. He's this false prophet that wants to say America need to apologize for his whiteness. I was like, wait a minute, where is this guy coming from? America has apologized for its whiteness because if you read the Constitution in Amendment 14, it says every man to be treated fair. Amen. So that means that America is trying to apologize for its whiteness, but, but the problem you have, we have some people in Washington that have forgot about redemption. They've forgotten about forgiveness. And I said, that's what we got to be. We got to be a forgiving country. But this is our problem, though. We have put people in Washington that forgotten about the reason they went. Because if we think about it, it's our fault. It's our fault because we put people in Washington that decided they were going to defund the police. That's a dumb idea. Wait a minute. I can't say dumb. That's not politically correct. <laughs> that is a stupid idea. You got That's a stupid idea. You cannot defund the police, but we let them get away with it. Now men and women in blue. Morale is down, recruitment is down because we let them get away with it because we were afraid they were calling us names. They were calling us racist. They were calling us names, so we let them defund our police. 